In Verizon MDM, to send a device, a device command, first we must go to Manage and then Search Devices. Once the device list is loaded, you must search for your device and select it. Once the device is loaded, on the right hand side at the top, there is a drop down box that says Send Command. You will select it and you will see various different commands we can send to the device. It will be different between Apple and Android. For Apple, there are a few more commands that we can see. One is check in. Both Apple and Android have a check in command. The check in command will say to the device to check in and tell the MDM all of its information, whether it be the device information, operating system information, device location, group memberships, applications. And if there would be a change to the group membership, the policies, or the applications, once the check-in command has been successfully completed, it will automatically update or fix any changes made to this device in its group and or applications. The next command is the clear passcode or reset passcode command. If the device is needing its passcode to be cleared out or reset, this command will be sent to the device. The reset passcode command will ask the user to reset the passcode. Once they have reset it, it will ask them to re-input the passcode again to enter the, the device. This is for security purposes. The next command will be the lock screen. This command will lock the screen and have the user re-input the passcode for the screen once again. The restart device and shutdown device command will have the device restart or shut down if the device is being hard to handle or needing to restart, these are the two commands that you would send. The last two for Apple are the view activation lock bypass code command and the wipe device command. In order, before you wipe a device, you must always view the activation lock bypass code. Once the command is sent, it will tell you the activation lock bypass code. This should be taken note of somewhere on your computer or written down on a piece of paper. This command and its code will provide you the passcode to the device if it is activation locked during its setup after a wipe device command is sent. Always send this command first before a wipe device command. If you do not, it may cause some issues and you will have to contact Apple Enterprise to assist.